Guys, get into the playground. It's a rotten partridge egg. I think I smell a rotten partridge egg. That was egg. a skunk. Ah, oh, where? Right there. No. Oh. Yeah, the baby bunny was over there. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's no baby bunny here today. Oh, that's no. Good. I hope he's safe. What if we had urban wildlife powers and we were able to sneak under fences? And we had camo. Just, Just imagine. imagine. Let's go, let's go, let's go wild. Animal adventures, that's our style. Let's go, let's go, let's go wild. Let's go, let's go, let's go wild. Learning what the creatures know. Going where no one can go. The Kisco brothers in the snow. Or in a lake way down below. Visit places creatures live in. See the talents they've been given. Skunks that spray and birds that soar around the world or right next door. Let's go, Kiskos, let's go wild. Animal adventures, that's our style. Let's go, Kiskos, let's go wild. Let's go, Kiskos, let's go wild. Oh man, Vincent, snack time! Project? Yeah, we barely ever get to see you. Well, how would you guys like the chance to be able to work with me on this project? In your lab? That would be cool. Well, I'm looking for some guinea pigs to try out the new equipment. I've yeah. tested it on myself, and now it's time to test it on can other we, people. Can I feel like you into a guinea, guinea pig? Actually, it was more like a great horned owl. A white-tailed jackrabbit and a striped skunk. Ew. It was... For my research grant, I had to pick animals that were really easy for us to find. Animals that live right here in our own cul-de-sac. So, what do you say? You want to come down to my lab and check out the equipment? Sure. Let's go. I really like your lab. It's so cool. You have all this cool stuff. But it's not really yeah, but this animals. is. You don't get to see animals. You get to be animals. That doesn't make sense. This is my. This is my piece of technology. I haven't got a name for it yet. So if you can think of one, I'm all ears. So um, we have this technology. We have. Um, I've developed it with three different animals. The white-tailed jackrabbit. He definitely knows what those little guys look like. We have yeah, we see them all the time. All the time. They're everywhere. Um, the great horned owl. I've got a program for that. And uh, did you just say hoo 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 hoo? <laughs> all right. And I mean, I know this is controversial, but the striped skunk. No. They are really important, and they. They suffer a lot in our neighborhood. This article right here is about a woman who found a little skunk with a with a cup stuck on its head. And even oh. though she was really afraid of getting sprayed, she knew that she had to help it. And she did. And it popped off and he got away. So Poor thank goodness for that. Skunk. That kind of thing happens all the time. It's so important to clean up garbage in our neighborhoods to keep all our wildlife safe. And it makes the neighborhood look a lot better. So I'm thinking um, because the great horned owl and the and the skunk are both more active when it gets a little later in the evening. So we'll have to be the jackrabbit. Yeah. Don't sound too excited. So I've got good news for this. I have the program made out for the for both a grown-up jackrabbit and a baby. You know they're so adorable, right? 
So mm -hmm. all we got to do is get you strapped in and definitely do not activate in the house. There's no way I'm going to be s scooting jackrabbits or skunks <laughs> or owls out of my house. This is definitely an outdoor so activity. Okay. Would it be like, um, so like what will actually turn it into an owl and I won't be able to control it or what will happen? No, you'll still be able to control your thoughts, but you'll also have some of the urges of an owl or a jackrabbit. Um, you'll have a, you'll be able to speak like a person and um, there's a computer system in, in the prototype that uh, will answer any of your questions, kind of like Surrey, but only smart. I right. Alright. All right. Meet you outside. Alright. I will become this rabbit face guy. <laughs> now, whenever you're ready to activate, you put your entire palm over the activation system with the with the jackrabbit on it and say okay. activate jackrabbit powers. Alright? Whenever you're ready. Okay. Activate jackrabbit powers. It's working! It's working! Okay, almost. When you do it, I want you to say, activate baby jackrabbit powers. Activate baby jackrabbit powers. You are adorable! Dude, this is so cool. We're actually bunnies. Yeah, I know! This is awesome. I agree. I'm, a, I'm hungry, so I'll just leave you in this safe place under here. Okay. Thank you for saving me from Mrs. Watson. No problem, bro. Anytime. Hey, I wonder what else we can do. What do jackrabbits eat anyway? Jackrabbits like eating clover and dandelions. Whoa, who was that? I'm your onboard computer. Oh, oh, mom told us about them. Okay, well, uh, clovers and dandelions. Okay, yum. These are actually pretty good once you try them. Oh man, now I have to poop. That's disgusting. Ew, that stuff is gross! Well, actually, you're quite lucky it was a second poop. Jackrabbits poop twice. The first one is a liquid that they re-ingest before they poop out the pellets. Oh god! Oh god, that's disgusting. We should change back into humans yeah. before we eat our own poop. <laughs> How'd it go with the, with the whole jackrabbit thing? It was great. Yeah? Except for that Mrs. Watson tried to kidnap me. Mrs. Watson tried to kidnap you? Yeah. Luckily Roman came. Luckily Roman came? Where is Roman? He's having a haircut. Having a haircut? That's a man. Oh, okay. Well, Dad and I are going out for a date tonight, but when I come back, we can, it'll be later in the day, and we can try the skunk and the great horned owl. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I'm just, uh, just trimming up the bushes a little bit more. Why don't you, um, go inside and take the equipment off and put it in the laboratory. All right? See you in a couple minutes. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know, people are always trying to kidnap those little baby hares. I'm going to have to talk to Mrs. Watson and remind her. See a hare? Leave it there. Oh, you're finally home! You're finally home! But I'm allowed to go on a date with my husband. I know, but seriously!
Really? Still? You're like gone for an hour at least. At least we can do our creature thingies now. Okay. Yeah, can we do the owl? Owl! I'm gonna oh, be wait, the owl! I be no, the owl. I am! Okay, well, we only have one program for an owl right now and one for a skunk. It's so fine! Who's gonna be the owl first? I'll be the owl! No, I'm gonna be the owl first. No, rock, I'm. Paper, rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! No! I'm the owl first! No! Okay, okay. And I think once you get to know skunks, you might like them better than, than you think. I'm just going to go climb the fence. Okay, Roman. <laughs> I will, I'll go get the equipment and I'll be right back, okay? Thank you. All right, do you remember what to do, Vincent? Yeah, activate skunk powers. Right, and put, yep, yeah, go for it. Activate Oh my goodness, look at that. How cute are you? Activate Great Horn Owl Powers! You look amazing. All right, well, go exploring and come back and let me know how it goes. I can't get into the yard since it's skunk proof. Hey computers, what do skunks do? Well, skunks like to forage for insects and small rodents, like mice. Well, that sounds worse than eating my own poo, but fine. I wonder if I can find some over here. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. Why do I have the feeling that I really want to eat that skunk? Don't! It's me! I'm out of here. Hey, at least he left this mouse behind. <coughs> oh man, what did I just cough up? Hey guys, let's talk a little bit about how your explorations went last night. They went great! <laughs> <laughs> right. What yeah. did you like about being a skunk? Well, um, that I was actually a skunk. Pretty cool, hey? Pretty weird! <laughs> Weirdy weird! Did you Roman have got chased. Roman chased me. Roman chased you? Oh my brothers. <laughs> Did you know that great horned owls are one of the few predators for skunks? No. Yeah. By the way, know that you, you still stink. Seriously? <laughs> I don't Skunk smell spray anything. lasts for weeks. Your brother's just being mean. Anyway. Did you know that a lot of people, because of the smell, they want to get rid of skunks? Maybe they might trap them and rehome them, but there's some problems with that. If you trap a skunk, it might end up being a mother skunk, and her little babies might get left behind to starve. Or, if you do rehome them, when they move to a new place, they're competing with other animals for resources, and they don't know where to get food or where to find shelter if they need to escape from predators. What about you, Roman? How about being a great horned owl? Um. Guys, he on. was, um. Okay. So, I, being a great horned owl, it was amazing right up until the end. At the end, um, um, so, when I, right before I chased after, right as I was chasing after Vincent, he's like, no, it's me. And then I, I came down and found a mouse that he, had, he was probably hunting at. Mm -hmm. Right, Vincent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I took the mouse he was hunting and I ate it. It, it tasted, like, good. <laughs> I would never do that again, though. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think mice are really, are really good for humans. Yeah. So... Then, a, like a couple minutes later, I was roosting in a tree, like coughed up this poo. What? Well, an owl pellet. It's because owls can't digest bones and fur and that kind of stuff, so they just regurgitate it. Where, where were you sitting when you got it? Maybe we could go collect it and see what was inside. Well, yeah, just a minute. Um, I was up in the tree in the front yard, and um, when I coughed it up, I thought that owls pooed out of their mouth. So I'm glad that's not true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty gross. They do just have normal bird poop. All right, let's go.
All right, just grab it with those tweezers. Ah. Perfect. Can you put it in front of the camera? Yeah. Then. Delightful. Let's go check it out. All right, let's see what you ate. So what you do, you could take it off the tweezers and try and, you know, Hope it's it tough. Oh, ew. that's gross. What's in there? Ooh, Ooh what's that? that? A bone. A bone. Wait, Two bones. of them. Can you get them out? You can hold it down with this, and then you can pull that out with the tweezers. Oh, God. That's the actual bone? It is. That must be from the mouse he ate. Well, that's pretty exciting. Is something else attached to that bone? Ugh. It's a big bone. And it looks pretty fuzzy, like there might be hair in there, hey? It's a skull! A skull? Oh, those are the teeth! You little rodent teeth! Oh, wow. <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> pretty awesome. Yes. Thanks for watching! Let's go wild! If you want to learn more, Look around. There are probably creatures all over the place in wherever you live, in your neighborhood. Bye! Bye. Let's go, Kiskos, let's go wild. Animal adventures, that's our style. Let's go, Kiskos, let's go wild. Let's go, Kiskos, let's go wild.